please. Okay. <laughs> it's not funny. We've returned to the world's best thrift store. What up, bro carts? I don't I, actually everyone say say what up, bro carts. Everyone on three. One, two, three. What, what up, up, bro, bro carts? We're gonna be going into the thrift store. Like it's, it's our third day out here. Or second day? It's only my third day out here, and we're gonna be going to this thrift store. It's also November 23rd, which means tomorrow is the drop. Clothing drop. The clothing drop. Stopcart.com, big deals, big sales. 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Do not miss out. This is the oh my, we're never gonna get sales like this ever again. Enough with that. Let's let's head in there. Let's see what this is all about. Let's see if it's really the best thrift store. Stopcart.com, November 24th, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Don't miss out. This is kind of cool. Like really old Coke. 2005. 2005. <laughs> oh, I can actually. There's a viewfinder. Wait, this is sick. But it's broken on the front. Yeah, it's it's completely destroyed. I wonder if I can like show the viewfinder like somehow. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Pew 16 millimeter footage right now. So this store, what do you think? Yeah, it's like a, like it had cool like knickknacks, but no clothing. And like we, we usually just look for clothing. This is crazy. place is insane. Like, is it? Yeah. I was talking to the guy out there. He's pretty cool. The guy. One of the dudes. There's a lot of records. They have like every Beatles record. Anything worth buying? Like a... I really want to imagine, but it's $30. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> so you work here, right? You're in the video now. You're in the vlog. You can just talk with the mask on. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna get one of the sign. Huge sale. Woo. Big sale. Let's get this bread. Uh, I think it's too small to be a sale. This place actually has everything. I love this place. This place is amazing. Good. All right, thank you. Yeah. Sounds like you're doing good already, though. <laughs> thank you. I gotta See read it. down. I'm gonna check it out when I get home. Okay. That store was great, especially compared to that store, which is not that great. I think I was all the thrift stores that around here that we're gonna go to today. Two hours later. Yeah, it's been a minute. Uh, you know, all you kind of do out here is just like chill, go to the store sometimes, go outside. And I was looking for the bread aisle, but I found it right here, the bread aisle. It's all ones. <laughs> it's like $30, but it looks like a lot of money. How you doing? How you holding up? Um, Anthony's cousin's chihuahuas. Stunk up my jacket. Hold on. Smell this. Smell it? <laughs> smell it. That smells Woo! like trash. It smells. Woo! It smells like crap. What? The dogs like were laying on his jacket smell and it smells bad. It smells like back. It smells like, smell like garbage. Dog garbage. Now we're back here, and yeah, everything has just been like a calm, like family type day. However, the drop is tomorrow, so I want to answer some questions that you guys have. I went on Twitter, at Stopcart, you can follow me. I told you guys to ask me questions about Stopcart. So, uh, Nicole. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so, let's see, first. <laughs> Okay, uh, first thing is they did surgery on a grape. <laughs> Back to it. 
Vex asks, any stickers included with purchases? Uh, wall supplies last because I do have some extra stickers. I don't have any new stickers left, so some of the old stickers will be included with your purchase. Next question is, what blanks do you use? You can also see someone responded saying, he's casually going to skip this question. I told you. I told you. Next question is from Flower Boy, and they ask, how much will U.S. shipping be? Um, when you... When you type in your address, like as you're checking out, you can type in your zip code and it'll tell you how much it is to ship. And like it varies by where you are, but it's like the standard flat rate for USPS. So it'll be like exactly what you need to pay, like nothing more, nothing less. It'll just be like really perfect, streamlined, easy. Ah! Next question is from BBG Potatoes. <laughs> can you Next question is from BBG Potatoes and they ask, how did you make the website and how is Thanksgiving? I made the website through Wix and it's really cool because you can be really creative and have your own like little setup. So I recommend that. My Thanksgiving has been fun. It's fun and I'm still kind of like in the Thanksgiving weekend. As you can see, like I'm around little kids and it's been great all around. Thaddeus asks, is there a size chart? And yes, I'll have it linked below. I need to put it on my website. It's still on my website. I just don't have it linked anywhere. You can check it there. Next question is from Cute Cobain. They ask, y'all shipping to SG, we need to spend bread to get bread. I don't know what SG is, but shipping worldwide, shipping all over the place. Next up is from someone named Anthony. My name is also Anthony. They ask, are we gonna get some actual new stuff we haven't seen before? And yeah, the answer, short answer is yes. Like one t-shirt that hasn't been released before, it's the motorsport tee. And it's like the hoodie, but it's a t-shirt. And it's cool because it's like a cool logo on a t-shirt. Um, but that's it for now. But there, there will be new stuff later on. But for now, it's just that one motorsport tee that's going to be new. We're going to do a couple more questions. But uh, next question up is from Daniel. And they ask, do the hoodies shrink? Or should I order a size? I can't film you. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel asks, do hoodies shrink? Should I order a size up? I think if you order true to size, it'll be perfect because I wear large and everything in golf and whatever, like blanks and stuff. So if you order a large, it should fit you perfectly. They don't shrink. Uh, yeah, good quality, good all around everything. You should be able to order your size. Last question is from Andy and they ask, are you upset that your clothes turned more into merch and it's not its own clothing brand or do you not care? And are you also, can you stop please? Dude, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to film. I'm trying to. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm, this is my job. I'm doing my job right now. Please. Like I'm, this is how I eat. Please. Okay. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> All right. Last question again is, are you upset that your clothes turned more into merch and not its own clothing brand or do you not care? Also, are you scared YouTube might give you negative effects on your mental health in the future? Um, I don't know what you're talking about because I feel like, like you can't really see a difference in I feel like you can't really see a difference in like my clothing. I don't really think it's like lame merchandise because I really care about the quality and how it looks and everything. So I don't think I, I lost anything in what it's been. I will be making more like cut and sew important pieces that are really important to me in the future. So like, I don't think it'll be merchandise at that point, especially when it's at that point. And for the second part, I really don't think YouTube will like really negatively affect my mental health because I've gone through struggles, but I think I'm getting to the point where like I can really handle everything really well and like and be making videos every day and have it be healthy for me. Get that bread every single day, you know, like a happy mind full of bread is a healthy mind full of bread. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Sorry that this has been so distracting. All these children, but that's how it goes. I'll see you guys next video.